Hi everyone, so I'm back with another Let's Make. I'm going to show you how I do my little trifolds. Um, I'm not using file folders, I'm using cardstock. So I've got, <coughs> I'm going to paint these up, but I've got two sheets of cardstock. I'm going to need one fill sheet and a piece of the other. The cardstock that I'm using is this one. I get it from Amazon. Uh, 210 GSM. I'm not sure what that is in pounds. Um, but that's what I'm using. <clears throat> so, um, I have been asked quite a few times um, how I do this. I have done ones before. There are, they are in my playlist. But I'm going to just show you how I do this one. Because I'm going to make this one with a journal inside it. Okay, so with um, the long side at the top, I'm going to measure that. Well, I'm going to put it to four. And I'm going to score. Then I'm going to take that to because uh, I want to have um, like a little, um, like not a gusset, but a little spine. It's got three lines. So I'm just going to take that to, um, I'm rubbish at these, it's one centimetre on there. I know I'm, I'm bouncing backwards and forwards from uh, inches here, but it's one centimetre. I'm going to do it all centimetres, to be honest. Then take that again to the one centimetre, that score mark to the one centimetre. I'm just going to pull that down just a tad so you can see. Then I'm going to take that right along to the four inch, but it's 10 centimetres, 10.2 centimetres. Then I'm going to do the same again, take that up to the one centimetre and then again, take it up to the one centimetre. Then I'm just going to add say um, two centimeters there and trim that off you'll see why in a minute okay <clears throat> so that's that bit then i'm just going to do this one at 10 centimeter 10.2 centimeters which is roughly four inches and just take that off completely and we'll use that for something else Let's get rid of this. Okay, now I'm going to need my score tape, which I don't know where it is. <laughs> That's handy, isn't it? Come on to do a video and I don't know where my score tape is. Okay, <clears throat> so on this flap here, whoops, I am going to attach, where's my bomb folder? There we go. I'm going to attach this piece on there just like that, which gives me the three sections that I want. So I'm going to use a bit of this and a bit of wet glue so that that stays there for a long time, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to be using my blue butterfly kit. I have done, I've just uploaded a video um, a little while ago on how I done the pouch just want to make sure I'm in frame so I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue down here as well and then I'll rub my finger along there this might be a two-parter I'm not sure yet we'll just see how it goes okay let's rub that down there and then I need to stand up try and get my head over here Line that up, not quite to the score line, but just a little bit so that it's not, you know, it's not going to, it's not even lined up straight. But there we go. It's because the camera's in my way. Okay. <clears throat> so that gives us the, the trifold. Use my bomb folder. I'm just going to... There we go, some glue has oozed out of there. And then just burnish these other score lines. I'm gonna coffee dye this, then gesso it, and then gonna ink it up. Uh, I'm just gonna play around with it. You could simply just cover it, but I liked what I done with the last one that I made using the blue butterfly kit um, 
I will link that below. It's in my shop with a few freebies as well. There we go. I've still got glue oozing out of somewhere. Okay. Right. I've got to move some things. My tea out of the way for a starters. Okay. So I'm just going to get my co coffee and brush all that on there. And what I'll do is I'll stop when I'm drying this with the... Um, the heat tool because I'm not quite sure how to edit all this and knock the sound out of it yet. Um, I just about know how to add all the videos onto iMovie so one day I will probably learn how to do that. Okay, you can keep it white if you want to or like I said you can back each section with um, papers but I want to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to go and dry this and I will be back. Okay, so um, I've coffee dyed it all and I'm going to come in with the gesso if I can get it opened. This is a new one. Seems to go for a lot of that as well these days. So I'm just, the brush, brush is almost dry because I used it for something else a little while ago. So I'm just going to I don't want loads on the brush so I'm just using that so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put quite a bit around the spinish the spinish <laughs> the spine area because it does add to the strength of it because it's a layer of um what's well, a layer of additional medium I'm not worried about getting it everywhere. I just want it. Um, it's just so that it makes a difference when um, I'm adding my sprays, which are my homemade sprays, and I'll show you then when we get to them. So I'll have all these on my playlist. I've got quite a few videos on there now. Um, So I'm just going to do the same, I'll dry this, I'll do the same to the other side and I will be back. So I'll dry it and I'll be back. So I have gessoed both sides and I've dried it. I'm going to come back in with some more coffee water just here and well, when I say here and there, I'm just brushing it everywhere because it seems to separate a little bit once you've got the gesso on and I kind of like that look. Um, when you dry it, it will separate. Okay, do the other side and then, of course, I have to dry it. This probably takes the longest part, <laughs> prepping this, this part. Okay, I will go and dry that and I'll be back. Okay, now that's dry. I've got two shades of blue here. These have been made with acrylics. This one's called Lagoon and this one's Baby Blue. And um, I'm gonna start with a lighter color and I'm just, I'm gonna test it first, see what's coming out. And there we go. This is really light. And we got a And I will have to dry that. That's the light blue dry. Now I'm going to come in with the lagoon. I'm sure that's what I used the last time. <laughs> we'll soon see. Yes, I think so. So I'm going to hold it up quite high and do it. Yeah, that's what I've done. Here we go. And obviously that will need to dry. So what I'll do is I will dry this. I will do the other side. I'm just doing the other side exactly how I've done this. And I'll be back. So that's that all dry. I'm quite happy with the colour. So that was the 
two colours that I used, um, obviously plus the gesso and the coffee water. Right, I'm not going to be, I need to add a little bit more blue there. I'm not going to be covering any of these, but I am going to be putting pockets in them, obviously. Right. Here we go. Okay. So where I've got this join here, and you can see that, I'm going to put a, a pocket down of that side. And um, the journal will be in this side, I think. And it should all fit nicely as a fold like that. So let me go cut out my pockets and I'll be back. So I've inked up all around the edges and I've sorted all my tags, but not my tags, my pockets. This is all from my kit. So <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on the front yet. So <clears throat> like I said, I was going to put that there. Just need to, I've used some matte medium on this. This is really stiff. So I'm going to glue that down and I'm not taking it right up to the edge or, or right, not right up to that line anyway. So hopefully my glue's not dried up because I didn't put my lid on. <clears throat> so obviously you can do this with any kits. Um, you make your own pockets from anything or if you're using a kit that has pockets, then use them. Um, <clears throat> just be mindful of the size of the pockets when you're printing them out to the size of your section so that they fit on it nicely because you don't want to print it all out make it all up and then the pockets are too big <laughs> i've done that before okay <clears throat> i'm just gonna hold that for a few seconds <clears throat> for it to take grip And I've backed like this onto cardstock, this one. The others are just backed onto, um, what do you call it, book page. Okay. Oh, painty fingers. There we go. Might just have to keep coming back to press that corner down. It would seem so. Right. So let's see what I'm going to do. I might put that big one there. Or I might not. <laughs> am I in frame? I am. <clears throat> um, might do it that way. Okay. You can see I've backed that one to... Um, book page just to make it nice and thick I always put these two sides down first then glue that bit onto there stops it sticking if it's the other way around just line that up gives a little bit of space either side I've backed all my tags and I've printed out as well some of Artie Maisie's French ephemera which um, <clears throat> I'm going to be using in this and some tags some coffee dyed tags here and there. If you hear any shouting, the football is on. So England is playing, I think it's, is it Croatia? So, and I know they've scored already. England, that is. We've got through anyway um, due to points. But I know they'll still want to score goals. <coughs> Be exciting at the weekend or the finals okay so 
I might actually come in and stamp here and there on there, but I won't do that right this second. Okay, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think on the front I'm going to do um, an envelope and just um, put one of my pages on it, a window envelope. So obviously we'll do that last. So I've got these three pockets left, so I think I want that one there at the back. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. You get a lot of pockets because it is mainly a pocket kit, but the sheet, the full sheet of collage that you get, you can chop that up and do many things with it. <clears throat> um, and then obviously the freebie, I will link them all below the kit and the two freebies that I have so far. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of shouting going on. I don't know if there's been another goal scored <laughs> or it's just um, the locals having fun. It is a nice evening. It's rained for the last few days. So um, people are probably thankful to get out, maybe sit in the garden for a little bit. And I think I'll put that one there. I'll leave that one for the journal. I'll add a few pockets to the journal. It's just going to be a little, it's not going to be a big, thick, chunky journal because <clears throat> it's going to be attached inside here. And, whoops. Believe it or not, I did go in and wash my hands, but <clears throat> messy crafter. Right, okay. That needs a little bit more blue there. Right, so that's the pockets put on. And I think I'll do the stamping now. <clears throat> so I've got this stamp set, which is... I don't know who makes that. Inka Dinka Doo. Inka Dinka Doo. So... I'll use that one and that one. Oops. And I think I will use <clears throat> my stays on with this. Let's hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this big one here for down this side. And I'm going to look for a scrap piece to put that on first, just to make sure it's going to come out okay. I love this, but it stinks. <laughs> it really does stink. Okay, that's coming out okay. Don't actually use that or this that whole thing. There is a lot of showing going on. I really hope you can't hear it. And I do apologise if you do. Okay. Alright, so that's that one there. I do have to clean that off. Because this stuff is uh, bad. <laughs> leaving it on your um, leaving it on your ink, uh, your stamp, sorry. So we'll do that one up here. Fits on there nicely. Oh, that's nice. And with this, you do have to let it dry for a little bit. It's kind of wet. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly dry that with my heat tool so that I can carry on. Going to do this one and this one because this one's going to get covered with um, a window envelope. <clears throat> Sorry if my head's in the way. One more. Sorry if that made a big loud noise. 
I'm trying to be really gentle when I'm putting stuff down so that it doesn't rock the arm of the tripod and make it sound like old tinny. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to set that to one side and clean this up a little bit. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to go and do is find my envelope, get a piece of um, paper, maybe that and cover it. I'll come back and show you how I do that. Okay, <clears throat> so find my envelope. I don't need to coffee dye it or anything because I am going to cover it. So I'm just going to measure up, eyeball it here, mark it with my pencil. Um, so obviously I don't want it to completely take up the the front of it. So I'm just going to mark it where I want it. And <clears throat> trim it off. And... Obviously, you can use a paper trimmer to do that, but I've got stuff sitting on it now. <laughs> I'm going to undo, like, trim off the top as well. Because I'll back that with a little bit of book page or dictionary page, which is what I'll do right now. So I've got this Chinese dictionary, so I'll just take a page out of that. Hopefully, it's really old this. Um, it was funny actually because <laughs> it's it's all written in Chinese, so I don't know what year it's from. <laughs> oh dear! Right, so I know I don't need all of that, so I'll just tear that piece off in a scrap box right <clears throat> these little bits here I need to glue down and maybe that bit as well is it coming up just a little bit just want to make sure it's all stuck down and I'm going to use my glue stick I will be stitching around this as well and taking it up to about there because I'm going to fold that piece over okay so at least we'll see that through there and now I'm going to um, just trying to find a piece that I want. Yeah, I think I'll use, I'll trim that off first, make it a little bit easier. Sorry, I'm just kind of, I'm always muttering to myself then. Exactly in frame there, so I'm gonna mark there and there. And if you, you know, if you're more um, prone to measuring, with uh, cutting and measuring, and do that with your paper trimmer. But I'm just doing it this way. And yep, just 
making sure that that line is correct. Just had a scary moment then, I thought, did I press record? <laughs> Okay, so there I'll just pencil that and trim that off. I'm going to quickly ink up around this as well. Right, what I do now to get the just to be able to take the window out of there is kind of line that up to that. Try and keep that pretty straight and lay that down and find an embossing tool which i got one here and just go around the window you need you definitely need something spongy underneath this and obviously it just leaves like an impression for you to cut around Hopefully that's enough. Just want to make sure. Here we go. Okay. And you can see that there. So what I normally do is I'll just fold that in half. Take a little snip in there. Um, I cut up. And I cut down. And I cut into the corner, just the way I do it. There's probably millions of different ways to do this, but that's how I do it. <laughs> There's lots of shouting going on. I don't even know if it's to do with the football, but somebody's having a good time. <laughs> Right, what I'll do is I'll trim around all them lines and then I'll come back because it does take a little bit of a, a while to do. Okay, I've cut the hole out. I've inked up around the edge. If you're not going to sew this, then you glue it all down. And then I would glue it, obviously, just these two sides. But I'm going to stitch this. So what I'll do is... Um, where's my book? Okay. I'm going to... Glue it down with this and then stitch it. And I stitch around the window and then obviously um, around the actual envelope. Okay. Let's see if I can line this up. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put it at an angle because I can't get my head right over there. Let me see. Okay. Slightly off, or I've cut it slightly at an angle. Let me see. I've cut it slightly at an angle, so let's just trim that little bit off. Oh, I don't want to do it, so I'll just use my scissors. Right, 
when I stitch it, what I normally do is I will stitch all along there, take and then stop obviously, because I want that to be stitched and that will just strengthen that little piece there. Then I will stitch all the way down there, around there, up there, which leaves me the pockets. Okay, so I'll just go and do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I have stitched all around there. You can see I stitched at the back. <clears throat> Do you know what I didn't do? Silly me, I did not stitch around there and I have stitched all around there now. Um, I was too busy thinking ahead, but it is well glued down anyway. Um, right, so that's what I've done so far. This is going to be on the front, whoops, on the front here, like that. But I'm gonna need this behind there as a tie so <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of glue mm, on here I'll try and do it as best as I can in the center and I'm gonna leave a good bit of length so that I can tie that And I will just, okay, and then I'm just going to trim that little bit off. And I'm going to glue that. Now that I've put that on there, that would possibly stop a tag going down behind there. So I'm just going to glue that completely down. making sure I've got lots of glue on there. Okay, I'm just gonna open that out and hopefully I don't get my big head in the way. Mm. Center that as much as possible. And then that can that will tuck behind the tags that I'm going to put in there. Okay, right. So I've prepared all my tags and everything. So I have got the tags from the kit. I'm just going to pop them all in in place now. So a few things in here and there. These are the larger tags. Go in there. I've also got some stamped tags and I've got some of Artie May's um, French ephemera, which I will link that below as well. So I'll set them to one side. So all these tags that I'm putting in now come with the kit. And I've backed them onto coffee dyed paper. Okay, <clears throat> and let's see, I like that big one there. I do love that butterfly. Right, so I'll leave them tags there. They can go in the journal. So this is some of the French ephemera. I've coffee dyed it and used the ruler to tear around. And this piece here, I'm just going to follow the original lines from the actual piece. So that it gives it a bit of shape and I'll pop that in there there's another piece from Artie Mace I'll put that in there I will be putting tabs and stuff on but I'm not going to do that on camera I'll do that like finishing touches like off screen uh, another piece of French ephemera from Artie Mace and I'll flip that over. Um, I'll probably, hmm, well, I wonder if that will go in there. Maybe I'll try that in a minute. So, again, some more pieces from Artemis, the French ephemera, can go in there. And this, that can go in there. I've got some other pieces, but I can put that in the journal. These pieces. 
um there's definitely going to be a part two to this okay so i'm going to put that tag in there like so i may jiggle things around a little bit but i'm just doing this for now and what's this and i don't know if to put anything else in there or not we'll see and i think i'll put hope in there okay so apart from the journal needing to be done and me putting a tag in there and i'll show you this closed so I'll put the journal in there so that's like that that would go up and around behind there and then it would just tie like that so yeah this is part one part two will be the journal that will be really quick and easy because it's not not going to be a lot in the journal a couple of pockets and the rest of the tags that i didn't use so there we have it i hope that was easy enough to follow easy peasy okay so if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye